All right, well, it's my pleasure to be here today uh, to present uh, some of the work that NextFlex and our community are doing in the U.S. and really our approach to hybrid, what we call hybrid electronics innovation uh, and, and the U.S. ecosystem. So I'll just start off with a really quick acknowledgement. NextFlex is a, a federally, uh, U.S. federal government-sponsored uh, manufacturing institute, sponsored through the Department of Defense, but for purposes that are uh, driven toward U.S. manufacturing uh, opportunities and competitiveness. And so these are my opinions, not those of the government's. So NextFlex is part of what's called Manufacturing USA, which is a, a network of manufacturing institutes that was created starting in 2012 and really uh, growing in 2014. It includes currently 17 institutes, each focused in different areas of technology, with NextFlex focusing on hybrid electronics. And each of these institutes operates independently, but share a common mission, which is first to advance the technology in our respective spaces, Second, to create a, a robust commercial ecosystem, we just heard that word in the last talk, around the technology. So that's a full supply chain, a full research and development capability, uh, OEMs, and, and then commercial marketplace for the technologies. And then finally, what we call securing human capital, which is uh, creating the workforce that's needed for all of the different aspects of that ecosystem. So we have a, an education and workforce development mission as well. We operate as a public-private partnership, which means the government and, and private sector coming together uh, in this organization. And so we, we are headquartered in San Jose, California, but our, our members exist all across the country. We're an active participant in that ecosystem. We're not just someone who, who coordinates, but we actually participate in doing some of the research and development and then transitions out into the industry. Uh, we have more than 100 what we call tier members and more than 250 total members, uh, including some of our extended ecosystem. And we've done a lot of projects over the years. A big part of our role is to bring the ecosystem together, bring all these companies and universities together and government agencies, uh, but then to push work out into the industry. And that's really what my, my focus of my talk is going to be today, is about that ecosystem-driven innovation. But first, let me describe what we mean by hybrid electronics. Uh, it, it's, some people refer to it as printed electronics, but if you roll the clock back more than 10 years, printed electronics was often used specifically to describe uh, printing all the elements of the system, so printing the transistors, and we chose to really uh, use the term hybrid electronics, or, or in some cases flexible hybrid electronics, uh, to differentiate, because we are talking about using discrete components, uh, including thin semiconductor dyes and passive devices uh, that, are, uh, that are assembled into the devices. Over the time, though, we, just, we realized that focusing just on the flexible side really narrowed us into an area that was, that was more, more niche than it needed to be because you can use the same manufacturing approaches, combining additive technologies with assembly for a wide range of applications. So yes, we make a lot of flexible devices, but we're also interested in structurally integrated and conformal electronics building onto uh, objects, parts, uh, and then also a lot of applications around uh, additive packaging uh, and heterogeneous integration. So what do we do? My talk is going to focus on the right-hand side of the start center and right. We, we, com we convene this ecosystem, bringing together members of the, from the U.S. government, the industry, uh, and academia. We drive regular communications, webinars, the virtual things, but also lots of in-person workshops and events. So we're very happy to participate in, in events like this where we're not the organizers, but we get to, to participate. We drive 11 technical working groups that coordinate, and I'll talk a lot about what we do uh, in developing roadmaps and bringing the partners together. Uh, those are meant to be really driven by the ecosystem, by the, the manufacturers, by the suppliers, by the OEMs. We then fund projects that are based on those so that we can actually advance the technology and manufacturing capability. And as I mentioned, we do the education and workforce programs, and we have our own internal R&D and manufacturing, low volume manufacturing capabilities. So what, is that, what does that ecosystem look like? Well, one of the ways that we view it is by the, the company's roles within the ecosystem. And, it, and we feel that it's necessary to have the entire supply chain represented. So everyone from design and manufacturing companies to the material suppliers, equipment manufacturers, OEMs in industrial and aerospace and wearable and medical devices, and a strong academic uh, component as well. So what do we mean by ecosystem-driven innovation? Well, we start with our technical working groups. We have 11 technical working groups that span between man what we call manufacturing thrust areas, which are meant to be an all-encompassing set of the manufacturing technologies that are required to build these hybrid electronic devices. And then what we call technology platform demonstrators, which are application areas in which hybrid electronics uh, are applied and sought by the markets. Those are not meant to cover all 